Welcome to TikTok Fight Club 10, everyone. Welcome, welcome to TikTok Fight Club 10. We have three, well, three championship fights, and they are here at the press conference. Let's start with our first fight of the night. We present to you Nate Wyatt versus Jacob Sictorius here on the stage. All right, this fight is for the TikTok Flyweight Championship. We have Nate Wyatt, you're taking on Jacob Sictorius. Nate Wyatt undefeated 3-0 with three knockouts. Jacob Sictorius, I know you lost your recent bouts because you are 2-3 and three with only two knockouts. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Nate Wyatt. Nate, we saw you defend that flyweight championship. Can you succeed in this defense once again? You are, alright, so he says that he is gonna defend that championship and he's gonna have sex, nuts, what? Successfully defend that championship and Jacob Sartorius, Jacob Sartorius, you are the challenger. Many people think you're gonna lose this fight by, by looking at your record. Everyone says he only has two fights and three losses. Those three losses, you said, don't mean stuff. Well, we're going to see what those three losses are going to prove to the fans. And Nate Wyatt, what's your prediction for this fight? You're going to knock him out in the third. All right, he's saying he's going to knock him out in the third. What about you, Sictorius? You're going to try and knock him out in the second. 
All right. Well, that concludes that part of the press conference. So we're going to go to the other side. I'll see you guys. No way. No, we're not out trying yet. But our next fights, they are here in the stage as well. We have the main man himself, Michael Chandler versus Diego Sanchez for the TikTok Lightweight Championship. Michael Chandler, this is going to be your first time defending that championship since you won it on TikTok. I remember what TikTok you won it in, but you had to fight for that championship. And you're also 1-0 inside of TikTok Fight Club and you won a championship. Diego Sanchez, you are making your debut on TikTok Fight Club. What do you think about this fight? Well, technically, what is your thoughts behind this fight, Michael Chandler? You're going to try and knock him out. All right, so what about you, Diego Sanchez? You're also going to try and knock him out. Both knockout predictions right here. But Diego Sanchez, you have proven that you can defeat anyone during your League of Legends fight against, uh, I forgot his name, but you, you, I think you won a lot. I don't remember if you won or lost, but Diego Sanchez, I know you're going to win this fight. Michael Chandler, you have another fight of a hand because this fight is not the only fight that you have listed for this year. You're also fighting Conor McGregor in the UFC. How do you feel? You feel excellent. You're going to knock him out? Yeah, yeah. Or right, because Jake Paul knocked out um, Conor McGregor. No. Yeah, he knocked Conor McGregor out during... I think it was a knockout or, or it's a judge's decision because Jake Paul won against Conor McGregor at League of Legends 1. But are you ready for this fight? You are. You're ready for both fights. All right. All right, Michael Chandler and Diego Sanchez. Diego Sanchez, your prediction for this fight. First round knockout, Michael Chandler. Second round knockout, all right. Well, this is gonna be Michael Chandler's first time defending the belt. And let's go to the other side of the desk here upstage. And we have the main man himself, Vlogmore Vlog, taking on Henry Allen for the TikTok middleweight and the TikTok interim welterweight action belt. With the TikTok middleweight championship and the interim welterweight championship for TikTok. I know the scenario is that one of y'all two are going to fight for the welterweight championship to crown the undisputed welterweight championship because if Logmore Vlog wins he re retains and becomes the new welterweight inner he retains the TikTok middleweight and the new interim welterweight championship as well as Henry Allen this is your fight to shine because this is the rematch ladies and gentlemen the rematch has never gotten this big before but the rematch is vlogmore vlog versus henry allen henry allen this is your first time battling in tiktok fight club and vlogmore vlog this is your first time competing in a rematch as well as henry allen competing in a rematch vlogmore vlog you are 7 and 0 you defeated your last fight anderson silva by knockout in the fourth round, you won by knockout and became the first ever TikToker to become middleweight champion. I know this is going to be a different fight because the FA has ordered a middleweight in an interim, interim welterweight and middleweight championship fight. But for this interim, interim uh, I can't speak, interim welterweight championship, Vlogmore has to be a welterweight. He cannot fight at middleweight, but the title for well, the title for the middleweight is going to be on the line. But the scenario still continues. If Vlogmore wins, he has to fight Michael Chiesa, who is the current the current welterweight champion. 
as well as Henry Allen. If he wins the, the belt, he has to fight Michael Chiesa in the next TikTok event. Which, not in the next next, we're talking about like way ahead. Maybe TikTok 12, maybe TikTok 13, you never know. You never know. Because we have other fights planned ahead as well. And also Vlogmore Vlog and Henry Allen. Both of these fighters know each other. Henry Allen, you went against Vlogmore Vlog in an exhibition fight by second round knockout leg kick to the head of Vlogmore Vlog. And Vlogmore Vlog, you didn't take that loss lightly. But technically, when you turned professional during TikTok Fight Club 3, what well, technically not as professional, but like a semi professional fight, you knocked out Cole LeBrant. You knocked him out clean and dusted. You knocked him out by three punches connected in the fight that were successful connected to the fight. But, vlog more vlog, you have been on a winning streak ever since. You went on to defeat Thiago Santos by second round knockout. You defeated Brad Tavares in TikTok Fight Club 4. And then you went to fight uh, Randy Ortiz, won that fight. And then you fought Jake Paul, and you won that fight too. And then the last fight you had, Anderson Silva, you won that fight as well. So you're currently 7-0. Seven, Seven victories with only how much knockouts? Six knockouts. Because his um, fight against Jake Paul went to distant to the judges and Vlogmore Vlog became the winner of that fight by judges decision but now ladies and gentlemen Henry Allen I need a prediction fight from you You're, it's gonna be the same thing second round knockout leg kick alright Vlogmore Vlog predictions Is you gonna, it's gonna go on the first round alright thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen and we will see you guys next time and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the introductional weigh-ins thank you